Right, so I'm in my grandparents' basement at the moment, and it's colder than a freaking meat locker, so I apologize if I have to stop this a couple times to go get a warm beverage or something. It's freaking, like, 95 degrees out right now, and yet downstairs, I'd, I'd wager it's about 45 to 50 degrees. It's ridiculous. I have to deal with both extremes of the weather. So, today, I am going to tell you a story that I like to call Sex in the Castle. The school I went to from kindergarten through eighth grade was interesting. Most people who go to a private school will generally say, yeah, I went to a hippie school. No, I went to a hippie school. Literally, my fourth grade teacher once told me, you have to ask the plants permission before you pick them. What? You're a fourth grade teacher? You're like 50 years old? Sir, are you insane? We, it was, it was kind of counterproductive too, because that day we go outside and the, most of the girls in the class, some of the guys too, were walking around and like asking random flowers, can I pick you? And then just picking them. Like, what? Like, he, he, I, I assume he told us that so we'd be nicer to the flowers or whatnot. And yet we went around being like, can I pick you? And picking like every single freaking plant around the entire play yard, which there was a lot, it was it was ridiculous. Little 10 year old me walks up to a plant and I'm like side eyeing it suspicious and I'm like, can I pick you? I must have stared at it for a good like minute before I decided, wow, my teacher is actually insane. So that was the school I went to. There are many tales I can tell you of this school, but the one I am going to tell you today is about a very special occasion. I lived in kind of the ghetto. It was still the ghetto when um, I was going to school. It's a much nicer neighborhood now, but it was very, <laughs> very edgy. So we had this play equipment. It was mostly wood. Uh, we had like a wooden house. We had some swing sets and stuff, but it was mostly wooden play equipment. One of them was this giant ass wooden castle that we had built in the play yard. And it was kind of secluded. There were two turrets that you could go inside and do stuff in. And one day, my class, I believe we were in fifth grade at the time, uh, we went out and some friends and I, we usually hung out in said castle, sat around and talked about shit. And in the castle, we discovered a couple condoms, some empty bottles of lube, which most of the lube was spread all over this wooden surface, covered in dirt. A couple condoms laying around, the empty condom packet. Uh, God, I think there was a sex toy somewhere. Oh, and there was this stick. It was like a branch they broke off of some tree and it was, there was a couple feathers wired to the end. It, they were like tied on. I, I can't remember what they were tied on with, but it, it is not something you'd want in your downstairs places. The, the feathers were like sticky and it was horrible. Like they must have, they must have shoved this stick with feathers on it up someone's ass. And it was, oh my God. So we discovered this because we had playtime before the other classes. So we discovered this and the teacher's like, oh, oh, children, go away. We'll clean this up, we'll clean this up. And so they do. And the rest of the day, we're like telling our upperclassmen, oh my god, some people had sex in the castle. And uh, this was still the time when uh, sex was a very big deal for the children of my age group. So it was it was the big thing. And then later that day, as, we're, as the pickup line's going through and we're getting picked up, some kids were running around with the stick, with the feathers on it. This, like, nature's sex toy, running around with it and poking people. My classmates and I are just standing there in horror as this small, innocent little child is, like, stabbing people with something people used to stick up their asses. And it was... <laughs> I had parkoured over an entire picnic bench in one leap to get away with this thing, from this thing, because... The kids were relentless. They were like, oh, the older kids are afraid of this. We don't know why, but we're gonna chase them around with it. So I spent like the last 10 minutes of my day before I got picked up running away from this tainted stick that a five-year-old was trying to touch us with. And um, 
that was that was a thing. I may tell you stories of this school later because there are a lot of them. That's all I got. So there's that. Bunch of fifth graders learned what sex toys were because of nature.